In this WebEasy Hosting Services video, we will provide an overview of your WebEasy Professional Software, an integral tool for streamlined experience with WebEasy Hosting. When you open WebEasy Professional, unless you have disabled the feature, it will open up with the Activity Center window. From the Activity Center, you can pick a website template, open an existing website, or sign up for hosting. There is also a link to check for updates. And if you would prefer that WebEasy opens to the main body of the software, you can uncheck the box next to Show at Startup. To close the Activity Center window, you can click on the small X in the right corner. As you can see, WebEasy Professional utilizes a tabular layout, much like the newer versions of Microsoft Word. The main tabs include Home, Insert and Modify, Layout, Review and Tools, WebEasy Hosting, and Help. Below the main toolbar, there are additional tools in the Quick Access toolbar, offering access to the more commonly used features such as Save Project, Page Navigation Assistant, Inspector. You may notice that many items are grayed out and not clickable, such as the text tools. When tools are not applicable in certain cases, they will appear this way. For instance, in the current example, there is not a project open, so there is nowhere to insert text. So, the text toolbar is not applicable. When a page is opened, the text feature and other tools become enabled. In most cases, when a tool is not available, it is due to an item needing to be selected, which the disabled tool is specifically used for. In this particular video, I will provide a brief overview of what each tab offers. Specific features will be further explained in other tutorial videos. Under the Home tab, you will find text formatting tools, the tool to insert a text box, the ability to apply or modify styles. There is also an insert tool which allows you to insert additional pages to your website. The modify tool where you can modify page properties such as the page title and page size. Not to be confused with the insert and modify tab. Under the insert and modify tab you will find media gallery which opens a window that allows you to drag media files directly into your project and will automatically embed a media player for inserted audio or video files. There are also specific tools for applying items such as pictures, tables, shapes, and forms. And a custom HTML code tool, which can be used to apply codes for features such as PayPal buttons. There are also features for applying dynamic effects. However, these tools are slowly but surely being phased out by the internet browsers. So, in your goal to achieve smooth universal visibility with your site, we recommend avoiding the application of dynamic effects. Under the Layout tab, you will find tools specific to the layout of the web page. You can lock an item in place or unlock all items, which is useful when working with templates. You can group items to be moved simultaneously. You can also utilize the Show or Hide tool to temporarily get an item on your page out of your way without having to move or delete it. Select the item and choose either Show or Hide. Fit and Arrange tools assist in moving images, text boxes, or other items around your web page. Under the Review and Tools tab, you will find the Preview tool, which allows you to view a local version of what your project will look like live. If you have audio or video on your page, you can preview it using the multimedia player icons. You will also find the SEO and Search Assistant tools, used to apply information for search engines to use when displaying your site in their results. There is also a Build tool to build your site into an HTML package, and the options for third-party publish and transfer files. The third-party publish tool is used if you are publishing to a hosting provider other than WebEasy Hosting. The Transfer Files tool is the more traditional method of FTP publishing. It is sometimes necessary to utilize when applying more advanced features to your site that the software publisher may not automatically build into the published package. Lastly, there are icons to access the settings and properties of your site. Under the WebEasy Hosting tab, if you are a WebEasy Hosting customer, you can easily publish your site when ready with one click using the Publish tool. There is also a shortcut to the Preview tool. If you are not a WebEasy Hosting customer, you can become one by choosing the Sign Up option. My Hosting account will bring you to your WebEasy Hosting control panel. Under the Help tab, you will find the WebEasy Help Files, a web-based help manual for the software. The Tutorials icon will open additional help videos. The Gallery icon offers assistance for the Media Gallery tool. 
the support icon opens our WebEasy Hosting support pages. You can also check for updates or view your software version information, which will often be an important tool during support calls. Lastly, there is a WebEasy icon, the globe in the top left corner. Clicking on the globe offers options such as Save, Save As, where you will find the tool to create an archive backup of your project, an import tool for importing HTML files from an existing website. There is also an option to print your website. However, due to the websites being measured in pixels and printing parameters being measured in inches or centimeters, printing web pages is not an exact science and results may vary. The Options tool opens options such as customizing the design grid, how the HTML files are built, universal image properties, which should be set to best quality. Under the General tab, a useful feature is the default layout button. An occasion may arise when your page navigation assistant or inspector windows are not visible or are out of place, in which case you can open up the options and click on default layout. Click OK and everything will return to its rightful place. As far as the surface of the software goes, that's all there is to it. As mentioned before, you will be able to find our videos specific to individual features on our tutorials page. And as always, if you would like additional assistance, we are happy to help by phone 855-490-0540 by emailing support at webeasyhosting.com or starting a live chat at webeasyhosting.com. Thanks for watching.